Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case. This is Skyflight44, aka Zek44, and today we're playing some more Spiral the Dragon. And, well, this is High Caves, and I don't necessarily care too much for this level. For a number of reasons. Okay. I don't like this level. There's a lot of reasons why I don't like this level. This one... In my opinion, is the combat level, just because of all the different types of enemies. And also the fact that there's actually a... Uh, okay. There's... One enemy in particular you have to kill, and one of two ways. In which you actually have to kill him in both ways. But, um... Please do so. We're gonna save that enemy for later. Get you. I almost always forget 10 gems in this level. And it bothers the hell out of me when I do. I forgot in my last playthrough of this game that I pretty much got to this world and then said fuck it after I didn't get the 100%. Okay, that was close. Oh, that was even closer. But basically, as you can probably tell, the uh, Magic Crafter worlds are kind of loopy. Okay, now let's see. Go in here. Oh, there's the end of the level. Cool. Well, we really haven't gone into much of the level to begin with, but, um... This is definitely one of those levels I kind of hate. And it's not for the supercharge. The supercharge is actually really easy. I haven't actually explained that yet. But, um... Supercharge is not fun when you're trying to do this with those... And damn freaking tree chops. I hate tree tops so much. Okay, son of a bitch. Leave, leave. <laughs> uh, there's spiders here. And we want to kill off the spiders. You either have to go and use the. Damn, there's still one more. Uh, you have to either use the super flame, which. You can use to kill off a couple of these, or you have to use a supercharge, which you have to use to kill the rest of them. There's one more that we have to actually supercharge. And it's right down here. I hate these spiders so much. They basically lurk in these caves, and uh, they're don't want you here. They're completely invulnerable to any of your normal attacks, and they hound you down. They don't want you living, and fuck you for trying to get me killed. And you too. Ha, ah, damn it, he got me. Oh well. Now Spyro gets a kiss from the fairy, and now he gets to, uh... Shoot super hot flames. Need to grab this. There's, uh, two more eggs in this place. There's two more thieves. And, for the most part, we've got the hard part already done. We do have to go and use that uh, supercharge for a uh, for something else, but uh, might as well just get this early part done. At the very top of your jump, just get out of it and do the glide. That's the easiest way to do that. Now over here, if you can actually get them to one of these places, you can actually go, and if you're lucky, just uh, flame them. 
Yeah, we're like right there. Yeah, he did it. Oh, that took me forever, my last uh, attempt. And let's suicide. Oh no, fairies help us. Fairies are just gonna bring you back over here. And then just drop you. Oh, crap. They actually bring me all the way up here. I don't want that to actually happen. Actually, wait, shit, I probably should have went there and did that already. It's not like I'm going to be going out of the, uh, what was it called? I'm probably not going to be going out of the level through the exit world thing anyway. There's no real reason to. I'm, there's only a couple of different exceptions, like the first one, or you actually have to go and uh, exit one of those uh, exit portals to actually get to the boss level or to go into the boss level and in the last world you actually have to go to the very end of each and every single world or the next level won't actually open oh well 422 And that's, uh, this is basically it for all the gems, if I did it right. Now to go into that next area. Oh, guess I'm gonna have to go back in here. Should've went for the middle one then, shit. If not, I missed 10 gems again, and I'm going to be super pissed off. Son of a bitch, don't tell me that I missed... 10 gems again. Son of a bitch! What's with me missing these 10 gems? Okay, I'm gonna look in two places. If they're not there... Well, then I'm screwed. Back here. Back here, no. Son of a bitch. Where, where is it? It's not over there. It's either in that castle area or it's in the very beginning of the level. Or it's in these freaking caves. Let's check the caves one last time. Well, it's not over there. Probably in these caves. Uh, I hate this level. I'm always missing 10 gems at the very... Last, it's not even in the same place that I'm missing these 10 gems sometimes. Okay, found them. Well, that just killed my time. I spent 9 minutes in that level. Oh uh, well, hopefully the next one's not going to take me all that much time. You actually have to go and do the super charge, because that guy's actually going to uh, stop your uh, charge before you can actually go down. Get that. I'm actually going to be coming up here to uh, get the... Key, so I can go open that chest. Don't worry, we'll be coming back to all this stuff. We only got two more levels to actually go and do, and then uh, the, the flight level. But the, the, the actual slowdown is very noticeable. Oh, cool. I actually charged it. I hit it at the very side, but uh, didn't actually 
uh, get sent back, which is pretty cool. Now, a lot of the dragons in this world are the uh, the old type. Um, you know, trying to be the wise, you know, magic stereotype, mage stereotype. No, not necessarily mage, more like a sage stereotype. The old dude. Now this one's a, another pretty easy one. The only one that's actually kind of difficult is the uh, last two. Which is only five in the game. The, the big thing about uh, what I don't like about two and three is the fact that two brings in... Uh, there's a second thing you actually have to do in these levels. And you have to actually go and get uh, an orb in the levels too, which... Uh, Sucks. Ah, uh, no, well, fuck that. Let's let's go after these uh, pilots. I believe the game wants me to go after the pilots. And take you out. And then we can go after the chest. Don't want to fall in the water, you fall in the water and you lose. And we win! Yay! That was easy. In the second game, you have to actually do another challenge in these levels. In the third game, there's a challenge, there's the regular flight level stuff, and there's also a race in which the race is... In my opinion, it just takes too long. If you're good at it, it's not necessarily all that difficult. It's just too long. Wizard Peak. Yeah, Wizard Peak's not my favorite level. But, uh... uh this is the exploration level. There's a lot of exploration. First thing to do? Don't do that. Go over here. Yep, first thing to do has nothing to do with the actual regular level track. You actually want to go up here twice because um, there's two areas that we're actually going to have to f glide to. Over here? Which you can't get here anywhere else. And... Uh, We can uh, go and get one more. Son of a bitch, did I fall? Ah! I thought there was a little bit more space over there. If you actually, you could probably have seen it too. There was another little ledge that we couldn't get to. I'm sorry, I'm just listening to this amazing soundtrack. I, I can't get enough of that soundtrack. And it's, uh, the only other soundtrack I've been really listening to was the, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Proto Man. I've been listening to a lot of the Proto Man again. I so want the third act to come out for the Proto Man. Why? I just want it so bad. Because if, if it happens to be better than the second act, I'm going to cry because the second act is just absolutely amazing. This, is, this first actual uh, part of the level is not all that difficult. Just a bit of uh, backtracking. It's the second part of it that's actually a lot of fun. I 
However, the thing we're actually going to have to do is we're actually going to have to combine these supercharger uh, ramps. Or slopes. This one's going to be a ramp. To actually get over here. It's pretty cool. There's actually one more that we're actually going to do. Yep, yeah, look, this guy's not going to run at all. I still find that as being by far the most amusing of all the thieves. He just laughs at you. Beat that guy down. Now the next area that uh, the next ramp is actually going to be quite an easy one to do. Oh crap. There was two gems up here that we actually missed because when you're actually in the supercharge uh, state, you're actually going too fast to actually collect things unless you run into it. Which is uh, kind of annoying. Might as well get you. And run into the wall. I don't know if you actually need both charges for that, but uh, it's cool anyway. Gonna have to go on the back again. Yep, a couple of gems over there. Now the uh, the next level is actually going to be one of the. Uh, definitely the hardest of this entire world. Again, because you don't actually have any fodder laying around for you. The boss is actually uh, semi-difficult. And the fact that if you have full health, it really isn't. You can just tank the hits, but uh, if you don't have full health, it's actually it can be a little bit annoying. Oh, don't want to actually fall off there. But, uh, I hate these guys. Oh, crap. Don't want to get it twice. I'm going to have to go and look at the... Uh, I'm definitely going to have to go and look. Yeah, I missed something. Right there, I knew it. I knew I missed this because uh, I was doing the charge. That should be it. Now for one more level. And then we're actually going to finish off this world. Then we're going to be going through the... What was it called? Uh, the Beast Maker's world, which is by far one of the biggest pain-in-the-ass worlds in the entire game. Generally because it's actually legitimately difficult. I would also say it's uh, partially bullshit. But uh, it's definitely difficult. Damn is it difficult. From treetops to what was it, boggy swamp? Oh shit, the swamp level. You're pretty much, I'm assured to die in that swamp level at least once. You have to take it uh, quite slowly if you actually want to survive in it. Um, it's not an easy walk in the park. It's actually really difficult to play through just because the actual, uh, what was it called? The enemies are just brutal. In which they're either hard to actually dodge or they're just... They, they hit you so easily. Because there's too many of them. But there's some interesting stuff in there. Oh, crap, where did that actually hit me from? The 
the actual, uh, what was it called? Oh crap, you stupid boss. I don't have... I don't have a Sparks. Damn it, I want my Sparks. Don't wanna die, don't wanna die, don't wanna die. Well, actually, I do kinda wanna die. I don't wanna die right now. Ah, shit! Ugh. I wanted to go and die right after I actually got the, uh... I got to the dragon. To fill up. But, oh well. That's not going to happen. Ah, uh, my timing was off because I did that early jump. Oh, well, now you suffer. I did that much better than the last one. Mm. Come on, bring me back. You're gonna like me. Oh, this game's just so much fun. Now, if I actually had to say, how much better is the second game than this one? It would actually be... This game pales in comparison to 2 and 3. Damn. Okay, let him do his stuff and then go and attack him. He probably he only has one more hit left. I generally get hit more in this stage. Oh well. That's it. Got all the gems in it. And now we're going to go to the next area of Beast Maker's World. This world is not kind, and I say that, and I mean it. This world is not a kind world. The, the first stage is kind of tame, but the last two just suck. To be honest, I'm, I've really gone through this game really quickly. It's only, it's getting close to an hour and a half, and we're already... We're already halfway done with the game. And trust me, this game's uh, not all that long. I mean, the average person is probably going to take uh, a bit more than three hours to do this game. Three to four. Somewhere in that time frame, maybe a little bit more than four if you're not all that good with games. But uh, this is... Probably the one game I could act crap. If I actually really cared about speedrunning, I would actually speedrun. Maybe this and Jack and Daxter. But uh that's about it. I, I love this game. It's just a part of me. Uh this is the platforming level in this world. Oh, this is not a bad level. The fucking exploration level has treetops. And the combat level as Boggy Swamp is just absolutely obnoxious. No, anything this way? Did I miss any? Oh, I did miss stuff. Now the platform, there's not too much platform, like, really bad platforming in the very beginning. There's really not too much platforming at all, but, uh, there is quite a bit of platforming in the second, uh, half 
of this level. Ooh! Look at that! One up! Ah! Damn, Norx. One of my favorite things about this uh, entire series was the fact that it didn't have a uniform reoccurring boss. Nasty Nork didn't come back in the second or third game. Ripto didn't come back in the third game. And I love that. Now, apparently, somebody didn't get the message and started thinking to themselves, hmm, let's bring back Ripto for every single game after. Very much Ripto came back quite a lot. <sighs> Son of a bitch. As you can probably guess, timing puzzles and all that stuff. Not all that bad, but look at all these uh, places we can't actually get to. Quite a lot of platforming we're going to have to do. Get that. Oop. One up. This game actually gives you quite a lot of one ups, but... Uh, and it actually gives you a pretty good health system, too. It's not what you'd call a terribly difficult game. Even though the controls can uh, suffer a little bit. Not to mention, the, the camera isn't the best, but it's not terrible. You just have to continuously uh, reposition it with the um, triangle button. If you see me ever stop, I'm pretty much repositioning the camera with the triangle button. Though I'm just used, I'm just so used to it. Shit. Don't know why I just stopped when I hit that guy. I'm not supposed to stop. And now here comes all the platforming. All of the gliding. Well, it's not all that difficult. The timing of those uh, horrible little electric buzzer guys is really, you know, kicker in this level. But, uh... I still like this level. Anything's better than treetops in the classic the original trilogy. This is easily the worst level in the entire... Uh, well, maybe not the worst level in the entire uh, original trilogy. But by far the hardest level in the original trilogy. I hate Treetop so much. I might say that Boggy Swamp is by far the worst level in the entire uh, original trilogy. I have to go all the way back here to actually go and uh, finish this level off. Ah, damn it, I was trying to <sighs> trying to descend a bit quicker with the uh, charge attack. Okay, 400, that's good. Now we're going to be going to, I believe, Boggy Swamp because I want to delay treetops as long as possible. When you know how to work treetops, treetops isn't too, like, terrible, but uh, it, it can be. But uh, see you for now, everybody.